I guess what was your reaction to to the to the fans? Which uh, you know, three <clears throat> three thousand here for an exhibition game is is a little out of the norm. You played some of those yourself, but to, to get the warm response from the fans, it was actually we, we were in the middle of a. I was trying to talk to the kids. I don't. I didn't really get a chance to appreciate it, but you know, I do. It's. I enjoyed my career here. I really did, and um, to be able to represent Penn State even to this day, it means a lot. So to have my first game here as a coach was pretty special. Can I? I, I've had a good time this week teasing her. <laughs> that the way it was going to go was um, head coach of IUP, Tom McConnell, assisted by Jack and Jacqueline Babe, and former <laughs> Lady Lion Steve Dallas. Are you going to go to the one hand? Are you going to go to the two hand? <laughs> he, did, he was killing me. He was I did the one hand. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it was just like for me coming alive, but I think we started working better as a team, making the extra pass and just making sure someone was open and just finishing after that. So it kind of just flew with the team. Sort of. For either one of you, how nice was it to be out there in uniform playing instead of being on the sidelines just kind of watching? Um, it was a great feeling to finally get out there. Um, it's been a long, a long time since I've been out there. Um, but it, for it to be my first college game, um, it was a great experience. Um, I was excited and I enjoyed it. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's just great to be back out on the court and with people you love. It's like it's our family, so just getting to play with everybody and you've been practicing and just finally putting the jersey out there and getting to play in front of your fans was great. I guess an exhibition game is supposed to provide you with some things that both good and bad that you can work on. What are your thoughts in general about the whole thing today? Um, it's about what I expected. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're just, we're really young. And at one point I looked out there on the floor, we had a freshman and four sophomores. Um, so, you know, some of the things that you take for granted when you have veteran players, the communication, the um, the depth of understanding of defensive rotations or um, how to attack the gaps of a zone, some of those things. Um, you know, it's, it's easier when you have three or four veterans and you're plugging in one new person, but when you've got four people out there who really don't know what they're doing, and sometimes five, then, you know, it's, 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 it's more of a, a question of how is it going to go wrong on this trip down the floor? Not, not if it's going to go wrong, but in, in what creative way can we um, make, 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 make it easier for IUP? So, you know, I thought we started out the game with a lot of energy. Um, again, some small things we've got to learn how to defend without, without fouling. Um, I think uh, once we picked up some fouls, um, our intensity let down. And then when our intensity let down because we were afraid to get fouls, then we let them kind of get into a rhythm. They made some shots. They, you know, definitely got some confidence. Um, so, but, um, I, you know, I, I think uh, there's a, certainly a lot of room for improvement for us, and, and I know that we'll get better. You know, some of the things, um, the mistakes that are made are just mistakes um, because of lack of experience um, and, and lack of in-game chemistry. You know, there's a, there's a certain... Um, chemistry that you develop in the game, you know, from having played with each other and, and being able to communicate through the crowd noise, through the emotion, through all that. Um, and, and we just got to develop that. But, you know, I think there's a, certainly, I think Sierra said it, you know, there's some spurts where we, we did some really good things and you can see that um, when we put, put some things together that, you know, we'll be, we'll be pretty good. You had mentioned about, uh, on media day what a competitor Moore was. Mm -hmm. is, is that what we saw over the last eight minutes from her? I, I definitely think you saw her competitiveness um, and her will to win. You know, I, you know, I thought Lindsey Spann did a, a pretty good job of um, running the team. You know, for a freshman, you know, who's never played a game before, and and also, you know, playing with other newbies, you know, so it's not like she's walking in the door and she's a freshman with some experience around her. I thought she did a fantastic job of um, leading the team and, and running the team, and, and she's only going to get better, um, get better from here. You know, our, our turnovers, one of the questions uh, that was asked for the girls were about our turnovers, and some of it is, was just decision making. Um, again, that comes from lack of in-game experience. So, um, 
we certainly have some things to work on. I think it's a, a better barometer for our kids to understand how um, we have to work to get better. Um, but a lot of good things for us to build upon, and I'm confident that we'll, yeah, we'll get better as the season goes on. And, um, and, and I'm happy with, in, in some respects, with where we are.